We get it. We miss our national parks, forests, and public lands too. From the most spectacular mountain peaks to the smallest wildflowers. We miss campfire cooking and adventures with our friends. Get out here? Yeah. It's gonna be cold. Is your thingy is gonna be Captain Kirk? Yay, we did it! Oh yes, Mr. Bear. We miss the learning opportunities and the chance to gaze in awe at indescribable views. We miss the feeling of a challenging hike. It is a big tree. So my uh, rain jacket and it's in my backpack. Um. And bathing in cool summer waters of lakes and streams. Instead, we're staying safer at home, flattening the curve so that others may have a fighting chance against COVID-19. Earth Day and National Park Week hit different this year with closed parks and public lands but that doesn't mean we can't find our park at home. We can safely go for walks, following local guidelines, and learn about our neighborhood. We can stop and smell the roses. Though physically distant, we can still greet our neighbors. We can enjoy and learn about both native and non-native plants in local gardens. Looking up, we can be inspired by tall trees just blocks from our front doors. We can see the complexity and beauty of plants that grow in our community. We can view the local wildlife and practice safe wildlife viewing by keeping our distance. Of course, we still miss our national parks, forests, and public lands. But they will still be there, waiting for us to return, to gaze up at the stars from our place at the campfire. And I'm sure they miss us too.